So we're about to uh, take care of this block. We have some uh, tannerite, but uh, we're gonna try to uh, see what armor piercing 50 cal does to, uh, I mean, like I said, other guys have only made it work to 900 horsepower. So we're gonna see what armor piercing 50 does to it. And uh, we'll uh, report back shortly. Alright guys, welcome back to LMD. So thanks for tuning in to another video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. Thank you very much for 2,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I think by the time this comes out, it'll be a little bit more. Anyway, with this video, we're going to continue talking about going down and visiting Zach Hamilton's operation. He got to show us a bunch of cool stuff and we got to also go to his LAN and blow up some stuff with some Tannerite. So I hope you all enjoy the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Let's hop into it. So what we have here. Uh Chris just laid down. What did you lay down to the tire? Uh, we did 3,089. So now this is the same block that I think, I think he blew it up at 1,200 horse. And so you're swinging hard. You want to go for 35, 36, 3,700 horse. I know if there's a higher number, you want to hit it. And so I know you needed a backup, correct? Yeah, yeah, we need to keep going, you know. <laughs> I need more than one bullet in the chamber. So, uh, after the whole fiasco, we're not gonna make any more. I think you have the last two of these yep. uh, rare guys. Um, yep. But uh, they do hold more than 1,200 horsepower, correct? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this part the weak point in the block? I haven't seen a weak point. All right, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to uh, 3,500 horsepower and more. Um, and I know you work with F1 injectors. Uh, I've been amazed that he's engineered an injector that can do that. And uh, man, I'm excited. I want to see 3,500 plus this year. If you'll do it, I'll give you full support on my side. Deal? Deal. All right, man. Get her done. Let's do it. Boom. All right. Get your. It's pretty nuts. Jake, don't skip leg day. <laughs> I don't do any day. <laughs> like it's worth your shot. Oh no, we're good. There he is. He's in. Where is she at? There she is. Just oh. Oh, so much want. The pins oil car. So we got our new uh, carbon fiber oil pans. This is rub roughly 12 to 14 pounds, depending on the year. And this is 1.2. Force equals mass times acceleration. If you have a fat girl, it takes a lot of horsepower to get her going. So we're looking for the lightest girl we can get on the car. So this is about to hit the market. I don't want to be like smoking a cigar, talking on the phone. Like, well, that's you want that by Christmas Eve? Are you crazy? The real story is it's going to be a 1932 Ford. So we're having a 1932 Ford uh, body built out of carbon fiber. And then I'm gonna upgrade the chassis of the 1932 Ford to have the latest suspension. There you go. So minus this and the rear wing, uh, it should be street legal within a year with a V6 Audi. We had this shipped in from Germany. It's a wow. twin turbo Audi V6 three liter. And this will go in the Indy car. It's the hottest V6 <laughs> twin turbo. And it's funny because all the hottest engines are only available in Germany. And literally the engine is the frame. And so this one's, you know, fully loaded, six piston Brembros. It just lacks the V6, which is what we plan to fix with the Audi engine. String wheels, 20 to $30,000 in uh, instrumentation wow. and full. But yeah, like you can just feel how small their hands are. Yeah, a little bit. I think you're the only person that could fit in here. You if want you, me to try to get in? If, no, if you want to see what it's like, let me put the back back on. Okay. If you want to see what it's like to actually run one, you're literally laying down with your feet up in the air. All right. right. Step here. You're going to put one foot there. Put your other foot there. Yep. All right. Oh, man. <sighs> nice. Do you feel like you're laying down? Did you get your feet on the pedals? Yeah. So what they do is they put a two by four from here, or they have a, a tool that goes from here to here. Yeah. And if your helmet hits, you can't drive because when they flip, this is the only thing that keeps your neck in check. This is too cool to sit in this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too cool. So imagine driving this down the street with a 32 Ford body around it a little bit. I just love like the compactness of it. It's like, I already feel like you could just sit there and just 
whip it around. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and it's like you got your shoulders against here, so it's like the G forces. Oh, it's like you just get actually a little bit in there, you know. This piece is what keeps you the helmet. You can only move so much, but that's one of the biggest complaints is uh, you have so many G forces on your neck. You have to do neck muscle, uh, muscle yeah. exercises just to be able to drive these. I've also heard that the brakes on these are really like hard to push. No, the carbon fiber, they only work when they heat it up. Oh. I'll show you that in two seconds too. There's two different kinds of brakes, oval track or uh, road track. This weighs about four or five pounds. This weighs like 60 grams. What? But you have to preheat it. If you don't preheat it, it doesn't work. So if you're on a road course, these are the brakes you use. If you're on an oval, these are the brakes you use. The concept I got the idea from is called an F132. It's an F1 car with a carbon fiber 32 Ford chassis. And I thought, what is the craziest car you can get? You know, say they're $450,000 new. But uh, when the teams go through bankruptcy, cheaper than a V6 Mustang. Yep. So You're literally, right. it's the nastiest car you could build for under 30 grand. And that's what we're planning on doing. I just wanted the nastiest car. <laughs> oh, see, I fit. We're good. You Hold fit. On. There it is. I'm good. Yeah, but there's no seat in there. You would kill yourself if you hit a wall. <laughs> oh, man, I need this so bad in my life so, right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So once we get this thing, you video? Yep. So uh, once we uh, get this thing on Coda, do you think uh, it's only gonna have about 800 horse? Do you think you could go from 3,500 to 800? I'll manage. All right, well, then when we get it running, take Coda. So How's it going, man? we are here at Zach Hamilton's ranch and we're just gonna like hang out and like shoot some stuff and like get some content. There's like freaking zebras just like chilling over here. It's crazy. Hey, Zach, can I have one of your donkeys? <laughs> I need one for the house. Casually just needs a donk. <laughs> Guy just casually hooking up Starlink. Cylinder. Oh my gosh. Check out oh, all the way through. Look at that. It is. And then, uh, good, holy crap. You gotta get a picture of that. Did you leave a good six, Hold on. six seven crank in there? Uh, yeah. 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 Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that, that, that's <laughs> gonna go. Out there, <laughs> that probably <laughs> will. Cranks in it because it would go down even further. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> like, you have to be high mass. Why not just put like a like a whole one in there? Just watch it. Yeah, you could. <laughs> hey, if anyone can shoot the Miller can off this, there, that's the real bullseye. Just, just put a full one in there. Just watch it explode. <laughs> that's fantastic. So I'm gonna try to get the drone going and uh, see if I can get it. Yeah, I'd say we got the craziest content for sure. We just blew up a six, seven block. Yeah, not <laughs> in a typical fashion blowing up with bullets. <laughs> with bullets and tannerite. So we're not about to go check this thing out. All the other ways. What? Oh, shit. The heck? Wow. Well, there's your problem. There's another one here. There's your problem. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Figured crank just would have went flying, you know, falling out. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, right? What's your name's recording? Hey. Wow. That is fantastic. All right, so it's been a long day, but we have made it back to Chris's shop. And let me tell you what, hanging out with Zach Hamilton and his crew today was super cool. We got to do a lot of really fun stuff. We have a lot of cool content coming. Of course, we have the monster here, the 3,000 horse truck. We definitely have more stuff on it coming here soon. As far as being at Hamilton, there's like a lot of stuff that we did. But one of the cool things I want to highlight real quick is that uh, they made me a really sweet deal on a whole cam set. So we have everything we need here to do a uh, to do a cam in my truck, which would be a 188-220. So truck's going to get cam soon. 
that will be super fun. And then the main attraction to going to Hamilton are these two bad boys. These are some Hamilton Competition 6-7 blocks. What are you going to do with these? I'm going to send the ever-living out of them, I can tell you that. <laughs> They're going to be good. It's proven us well so far, so we got further invested in it. And, you know, a lot of people have something to say about it, but I got something to prove about it, so we're going to do it. That's about all I got to say about that. All right. The uh, just to recap, the block. This is basically the same block that's in the green truck now, right? Oh yeah, yeah, to the T. Okay. We're gonna fill it, everything. One's for a customer, Michael Brown. The other one's for us for 2022. And we got a whole bunch more nitrous, a whole bunch more turbo, a whole bunch more fuel, and uh, we need another bullet because they're gonna pop at some point. So here we are. Here we are.